Oh my fucking god. Oh, another shitty fucking movie again. What a surprise that Creed 3 was going to fucking suck. God damn it. Like, I'm not surprised because this isn't the first time I watched a shitty, boring fucking movie before. Like with Ant Man 3. Remember how boring that fucking movie was? And here's the kick. Here's the fucking catch. Jonathan Majors. He is in Ant Man 3. And he played a bad guy named King the Conqueror. Creed 3. He plays the fucking main boxer. He's the big antagonist in this movie that Creed go goes up against. Funny, isn't that? Right? Isn't that ironic? Is that fucking ironic? I see his big ass blubber nose once again. And everyone keeps calling him the next Denzel wa fucking Washington. That shit gives me a fucking aneurysm just hearing people say stupid shit like that. He is nothing like Denzel fucking Washington. His acting sucks. There's nothing great about Jonathan Majors. I don't get what's so great about this fucking guy, man. I don't understand it. Everyone can say he's like the Nez Nezel Washington and shit. How the fuck is he the next Denzel Washington? Oh, it's because he's black? That can't be the fucking reason. It's because of his acting. He's like Denzel Washington. He acting definitely not like Denzel Washington. Way far from that. So I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. Because once again, people are on fucking crack and drugs. Like they always are. Because I watched this guy's movie. His acting sucks. He's so fucking bland. He acts the same guy he did in the fucking other movie. In that fucking shitty Ant-Man 3. God damn it. This shit's so fucking boring. It's boring just like Ant-Man 3. It's like it's like some kind of duplicate I'm watching right now. It's so boring. Once again, a fucking... An ass pops out of the fucking screen and farts in my face because how fucking boring this shit is. What is with these movies always farting in my fucking face and putting me asleep? This is the second time with this goddamn film. And guess what? He is the, the, the director of this movie. Michael B. Jordan. He directed this goddamn movie. What do you think he is? Sylvester Stallone? When he directed those Rocky movies? He's trying to be like him? He sucks at directing movies, this guy. This guy has to be one of the most overrated actors I ever seen in my life. He's so fucking bland. He's just like Jonathan Majors in this movie. They're both bland fucking actors. But they get so much fucking credit for no goddamn reason. They act the same character in every fucking movie. And everyone always praises these motherfuckers. Oh, because they're black or something like that. I don't know what it is, but they're not great actors. They're nothing like fucking, uh... They're nothing like, uh... They're like Samuel L. Jackson. They're not unlike Denzel Washington. They're not unlike fucking Lawrence Fishburne. Those two guys are nowhere near Samuel L. Jackson or Denzel Washington or fucking, like I said, Lawrence Fishburne or Forrest Whitaker. They're nowhere near those four black actors. No way. No way in hell they're up that fucking high with them. <sighs> I don't get I don't get why these people praise these motherfuckers like they're like the best black actors of the world or something like that. They're acting. It's so fucking bland. And especially in this movie, like, oh my god. The story is so fucking boring and it's very cliche. I see stories like this many times before. So, where should I start? Like I said, just like with the Ant-Man movies, I never watched the first two Ant-Man movies. Just, just like the Creed films, I never watched the first two Creed films, even though I know what it's about. The first Creed movie is about Apollo Creed's son, Udonis Creed, and... Sylvester so Stallone's character, Rocky Balboa, trains him and shit, blah, blah, blah. They don't get along with each other, the characters. Then the second one came out. Now, uh, Udonis Creed gets revenge against, you know, uh, who, don't look in, what's his character name? Uh, Ivan Drago's son or something like that, blah, blah, blah. And now the third one's about Jonathan Majors. Him and Jonathan Majors used to be best friends with their kids, blah, 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 blah. And then they stop not getting along with each other, blah, 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 blah. Just like, oh my god. It's like this movie, like I said, it's nothing new. The characters are very boring. They are nothing like the Rocky characters, like, you know, Rocky Balboa, Pauly, uh, fucking Adrian, you know, Carl Weathers' character, Apollo Creed. They're nothing like them. They're not like those characters. Those characters had a personality and they had characteristics. These characters in the Creed series sucks. They're boring as fuck. These characters in this movie have zero personality. They have zero characteristics. Zero chemistry. Nothing's interesting about them. They're Like I said, they're very boring. Tessa Thompson supposed to be the wife of 
Adonis Creed. She's very boring. I don't like Tessa Thompson as an actress, anyways, because of what she says in real life. Like she's like the dumbest shit you can possibly imagine. And I'm not surprised because you know she's a liberal, so it's not really surprising. Also, like I said, Jonathan Majors, like I said, he's overrated as fuck. Just like Michael B. Jordan, they're both overrated fucking actors. Yeah, I don't see it in uh, Jonathan Majors. I don't see him as a great actor. I just don't see it. I don't get what's so great about him. I don't get why people love him so much. I just don't see it. He's nowhere near up there with Denzel Washington. I don't want people are fucking talking about. Like I said, they're like on drugs or something. On like methamine from Heisenberg or something. I don't know what it is, but... He's nowhere near Denzel Washington or Samuel L. Jackson. No way. Far from that shit. Way far from that. Just like Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan is definitely overrated as an actor. And he definitely gets pushed way too high up there too. God damn. Oh, and another thing about this movie. Oh my god. There's so much god damn talking in this fucking movie about bullshit. Oh. The chemistry between Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson is fucking trash. Like, it is so fucking terrible man like do you know what it reminds me of a lot of people get pissed off at me a lot of people are gonna laugh and agree with me the these scenes these fucking scenes between those two actors reminds me of star wars attack of the clones where padme and anakin are on like vacation together in this fucking uh planet and talk about bullshit all fucking day that's what it reminds me of that's how fucking terrible this fucking dialogue is it reminds me of that shit i don't like sand it gets everywhere. And are you fucking surprised? This movie is directed by Michael B. Jordan. Gee, Michael B. Jordan and George Lucas should, like, you know, hang out and hold hands and have hot dogs together because that's what they're fucking great at doing, huh? <sighs> God. Oh, fuck. Like, this whole movie, most of these fucking scenes is full of bullshit talking. Like, 70% of these scenes... It's just Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson talking all fucking day about blah, 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 Jonathan Majors, blah, 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 blah. Oh, fucking the whole fucking movie. It's like, like these are like the best things you can come up with. And besides that, they're always in the fucking house talking all goddamn day. They're always in the house. Or, oh yeah, there's uh, flashbacks where uh, him and, and uh, Jonathan Majors were kids and uh, this shit happens. He beat the shit out of that grown-ass man or something like that outside of a convenience store or something. So, it's a lot of stupid shit in this fucking movie. It's just, the storytelling is very shit. Oh yeah, and don't forget about this fucking deaf girl or something like that. Like I said, I know I watched the first two fucking movies, so I don't know who this deaf girl is. She knows like sign languages and shit. Also, Michael B. Jordan does sign languages with her. I'm like, who the fuck is this little girl? Who the fuck is she? Some adopted girl they found from Mexico or something? Like, who the fuck is this little girl? Like, who, who is she? Like, these scenes are pointless too. I'm like, who the fuck is this girl that don't know sign languages? Like, what the fuck is with this character? Honestly, like like I said, I never watched the first two movies, so I don't know I don't know who this little girl is. I don't know if she's adopted. I don't know like I said, I don't know. I don't know. I never watched the first two movies. So I can't really tell who the fuck this little girl is. I mean, let me look it up real quick, I guess, you know, to figure shit out. <sighs> Even though I shouldn't really fucking care. This movie blows fucking horse whales dicks. Alright, let's see here. Uh, this is really doesn't really say anything. Doesn't really say much here. So I'm guessing it is adopted daughter or uh, their real daughter. Their I I don't know. I I shouldn't really, really fucking care. But she's like, oh, what the fuck's her point in this movie besides doing sign languages and all that other bullshit? Who cares about her character? Oh, God, man, this movie's terrible. Especially fucking Rocky's not in this movie. Yeah, I forgot to mention, Rocky Balboa is not in this movie because he did not get along with these douchebag producers or something like that. He didn't get along with them. Because I guess they wouldn't listen to him or something like that. He was like, uh, hey, you know what? Fuck this movie. I'm out of here. You're on your own, kid. And that, that was about it. I don't blame Stallone. You know, the producers are real douchers. They think they know everything because, oh, they're rich. Blah, 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 blah. All that other bullshit. I understand why he left the whole, you know, third movie. I can understand. 
Their names are what? Are, what are the fucking producers' names are? I heard their name like the Wrinkler Brothers or something like that. Some weird fucking name. Yeah, the Wrinkler Brothers. There we go. Produced by Erwin Winkler and Charles Winkler. He didn't get along with those two. That's why Stallone was like, uh, I'm not doing this movie. Fuck this movie. I ain't doing this. And I'm not surprised because they're both Jewish. And you know Jews run Hollywood. You know how it goes. But anyways, yeah. Oh my god. This movie is so fucking lame. It's so boring. I'm tired of this shit. It's like, I don't know why I put that in the poll. I should know everyone's going to fucking pick this shit because... This shit is in the Rocky Balboa universe, so that's why I'm choosing this fucking movie. These Creed movies are garbage. These movies are nothing like the Rocky movies. They're nothing like Rocky at all. Terrible characters, boring stories, fucking rehashing shit from the past, which I understand because, you know, the whole thing with Apollo Creed dying and Donald Creed getting revenge in the second movie, I can understand it, why they did that, you know. But the characters are so fucking zero personality, like I said, and they have no characteristics. They're, not, they're nothing like like Polly and Adrian, Rocky, Mickey, and fucking uh, Apollo Creed. Those are characters with personalities. These characters, like I said, they have zero personalities. They're like they're walking fucking blocks. I don't get why people like this shit so much. I just don't get it. What is so good about this movie? This movie's like a 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb. More like a fucking a 3 out of 10. That's how fucking trash this movie is. This movie is a 3 out of 10. Like I said, most of the time this movie is mostly talking. Boring talking. Shitty dialogue. Felicia Rashad's character dies. She was the uh, mother of Udonis Cree. She dies now. I think she was, right? I think she was the mother. She dies... After she showed him the pictures of his old friend, and he would actually send him letters and shit. She hired it from him because she wanted him to become a bad guy like him. You know, I wish I understand, you know. He, this dude still got butt hurt about it. Like, this dude's like a fucking baby. But, yeah, she dies. Uh, now, fucking, he goes on the Stephen A. Smith show. I hate Stephen A. That guy's a fucking clown. I don't want people like that guy so much. He goes on the Stephen A. Smith show, he talks to him, and then... Dame Anderson, uh, played by, like I said, Jonathan Majors, and he was, like, talking shit about him on TV and stuff like that, you know. I feel like the story should have been a lot different, you know. I feel like his fucking trainer should have, like, got, into, got inside, you know, Jonathan Majors' head and told him all this shit, that shit about Udonis Kreese, a, a, a loser, a douchebag, this and that. It would make more sense if that happened, you know. But then again, you know, I didn't direct this movie. I'm not Michael B. Jordan, so whatever, you know. But anyways, yeah, and they fight each other, blah, blah, blah. You know what happens. And now Creed finally gets back in the ring after a long time. And this is basically like Rocky V, but a different type of Rocky V. Somehow he has like a lot of uh, injuries to his head when he was boxing before. And now he's, he's going to get back in the ring to fight again, you know, against him. Hey, look. Another thing about Rocky 3 and Cree 3, remember how, like I said, about Felicia Rashad dying? Just like with Mickey dying, it's the same shit. They ripped off Rocky 3, just like when Mickey dies, Felicia Rashad dies. It's the same fucking bullshit. And I think uh, what, uh, Ivan Drago's fucking uh, son trains him and shit, just like with Rocky 3. It's, like I said, they're ripping off the fucking third movie in. Am I surprised? No. No, they're not. They're, there's no creativity with this movie. They're just ripping off the shit from a good movie that actually had creativity.